Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have m to the power of 32 equals to 2 to the power of m. So uh, here the very first step we are going to do is here first uh, we need to move the variable term which is m in the left hand side and we move all the other terms like 32 to the right hand side. So here in order to move this m in the left hand side, we need to take the m through on both of the sides. Uh, so here when we take m through it is written as m to the power of 32 and its whole exponent 1 over m equals 2 to the power of m and its whole power 1 over m. And now in the next step. Uh, here we use the nice exponential law and you know about this law. we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of n times of n here we need this nice exponential law which we apply on both of the sides of the above equation so according to this law uh, here we multiply this 32 by m and it is written as m to the power of 32 over m equals to this m is cancelled out by this m and we get here only 2 okay so uh, now in the next step we move m in the left hand side but here our next target is to move this 32 to the right hand side so in order to move this 32 to the right hand side we need to again take the 32th root on both of the sides here we take the 32th root and it is written as 2 to the power of 1 over 32 so in the next step we again use the nice exponential law and we multiply these two terms and it is written as m to the power of 32 over m multiplied by 1 over 32 Similarly, here we get 2 to the power of 1 over 32. So here this 32 is cancelled out by this 32 and we get the remaining terms are m to the power of 1 over m equals to 2 to the power of 1 over 32. So here uh, you see that uh, the exponent is 1 over m but our base is m. It means that the reciprocal of m is 1 over m. So the base uh, so our exponent is the uh, reciprocal of our base so we make this type of condition in the right hand side okay so in order to make uh, this type of condition here we need to uh, multiply and divide the exponent of 2 by 2 and it is written as 2 to the power of 1 over 32 multiplied by 2 over 2 so here we move this multiplication to inside uh, the exponent and it is written as 2 square and now we multiply this 32 by 2 and it is written as 1 over 64 and in the left hand side we have m to the power of 1 over m. So here you see that uh, the 2 square equals to 4 and its whole exponent is 1 over 64 in the left hand side we have m to the power of 1 over m so here uh, we uh, repeat this step again and again until we get the base uh, is 64 the base is the reciprocal of its exponent okay so now uh, here we need to again uh, multiply and divide 2 by its exponent and it is written as 4 to the power of 1 over 64 is multiplied by 2 and divide by 2 okay so here again uh, we move this multiplication to inside the uh, uh, exponent it is it is written as 4 square and here we multiply the 64 by 2 and we get here 100 and 28 and now in the next step uh, here uh, in the left hand side we have m to the power of 1 over m equals uh, 4 square equals to 16 and its whole exponent is 128 so uh, now in the next step uh, because here in the above step i can just say that uh, we repeat this step again and again until our exponent is a reciprocal of our base so that here we need to again multiply and divide the exponent of the above term by 2 and it is written as 1 over 128 multiplied by 2 by 2 okay 
So here uh, we move this to again inside uh, the exponent and it is written as a 16 square into here we have 1 over 122 multiplied by 2 becomes here 256. So that uh, uh, we just obtain here m to the power of 1 over m equals to here we know that 16 square equals to 256 and its whole exponent is 1 over 256 and now in the next step here we need to compare both of the sides so here if you compare the bases then we get here m equals to 256 we get directly the value of m but if you compare its exponents then again uh, we get the value of m is 256 you can just uh, see here so here you take the reciprocal on these terms then we easily get the value of m is 256 okay so uh, this is the our final answer or final value of m and now we verify our answer uh, is our uh, value of m is satisfied our given question statement or not so that here first we copy down the given question statement it is m to the power of 32 equals to 2 to the power of m this is our given question statement and now here the time to uh, substitute this value of m on both of the sides of this equation so when you substitute here m equals to 256 it is written as exponent is 32 but in the right hand side we have 2 to the power of 256 so here we check that is both of the sides uh, gives us the same answer or not okay so here uh, we need to make the prime factors of 256 so that we find the prime factors by this method so now first we divide it by 2 and uh, you get here uh, we first divide it by 2 you get 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 we carry 1 and 2 8 the 16 and 2 6 are 12 2 4 the 8 2 3 the 6 2 2 the 4 and 2 1 the 2 and 2 6 the 12 and 2 8 the 16 2 4 the 8 2 2 the 4 and 2 1 the 2 so here you count down all these twos 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so these are uh, 8 times of 2 so it means that uh, our 256 equals to 2 to the power of 8 and its whole exponent is 32 and we check that is this equals to 2 to the power of 256 or not okay so here uh, we apply the exponential law and we multiply this 8 by 32 and it is written as 2 to the power of 8 multiplied by 32 equals to 200 2 to the power of 256 so now we verify uh, this result so when you multiply 8 by 32 then you get here 2 to the power of 56 equals to 2 to the power of uh, 256 so this shows that left hand side equals to right hand side so finally we conclude that uh, the value of m equals to 256 satisfied the given question statement and it is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos